Hello, I'm Father Timothy Matkin with the Rector's Ramblings for March 3rd, 2019. Today I'm talking about resources for your Lenten rule. The Church has a long history of seasonal traditions to help us develop a personal rule or plan for spiritual growth. And some of these resources for Lent are the following. First big one, fasting and abstinence. You're not going to have Lent without fasting and abstinence. So above all, Lent is really a time for fasting. And there are two strict fasts on the Christian calendar, big whole day kind of fasts. That's Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. The prayer book also says that, quote, the following days are to be observed by special acts of discipline and self-denial, and those are the weekdays of Lent and of Holy Week. So traditionally, that means that the Fridays of Lent are observed with fasting and total abstinence or doing without flesh meat. So that is red meat. That is where fish on Fridays comes from. So what we're talking about is lighter, meatless meals. And when we talk about fasting, the rule is one full meal and up to two sort of half meals. They call them collations. I like to think of it as snacks. It just help to get you by through the day so you can get to that one full meal. Now fish has not been considered meat in this sense, and hence that's where we get fish on Fridays. The other days of Lent are observed with fasting and partial abstinence from meat. That means that you can have one full meal with meat and the rest not. Let us encourage one another to abstain from meat on the Fridays of Lent, as we ought to do most Fridays throughout the year. Most people also like to give up a little something extra for Lent, something individual. It can be, you know, any food that's a treat, like coffee or sodas or desserts, or it can be some habit that we sacrifice, such as tobacco or alcohol. Another great resource for your Lenten spiritual rule is almsgiving. So many families collect together the money that they would have spent ordinarily on meals that they fasted from and give that money to charity. On Palm Sunday, we will collect what you have collected, and we will use those funds for humanitarian relief through the Anglican Relief and Development Fund. Another great resource for your spiritual Lenten rule at Lent is worship. Makes sense? And so during Lent, we try to increase our acts of worship and piety and devotion. So commit to praying one of those daily offices from the prayer book at home as a family, or maybe adding a daily Mass to your spiritual routine during the week. And then finally, the last resource is spiritual reading. So discipline reading from the Bible or from a Christian spiritual writer, such as one of the Fathers of the Church, is a perfect devotion for Lent. There are some books available in the church library here if you want to check one out for the season. All of these are resources to help your Lent be a truly wonderful experience, and I pray that it will be. If you're in Dallas, come join us at St. Francis Anglican Church. You can look us up at stfrancisdallas.org. Please like and share, and we will see you there. God bless.